Hey guys, happy Sunday, November 12th. Just a quick one for you, an update on Ehang, the VTOL company out of China that I initially covered a couple weeks ago. There was an updated report, a short report from Hindenburg Research, and I wanted to bring that to your attention. And I will put a link to the Hindenburg Research short report in the video description so you can read through the entire thing on your own and always do your own due diligence. There are a couple of key highlights from this report that I'm just gonna talk to you about in this video. One thing that they point out here in the beginning is that Ehang is running at about 50X tangible book value versus competitors here in the US like Joby Aviation running at 4X or Archer Aviation running at 5X. They call out the R&D budget that Ehang has invested so far into their project only being 97 million versus Joby Aviation at 761 million and Archer Aviation at 381 million. But the two really smoking gun items in this very long report that I want to highlight to you is that they are claiming that Ehang's customer order book of 1300 plus pre-orders they believe to be false. And of those customers that have pre-orders, the largest one, United Therapeutics, having a pre-order of over a thousand units, Hindenburg Research is claiming that Ehang is keeping this on the books, keeping it in their documentation, the 10 Qs and such, but that that order is no longer actually in existence. The other thing that we talked about a couple weeks ago, the press that really got everybody's attention, was that Ehang was the first certified VTOL company, certified in China, and that they were going to try and work that into some sort of certification in the United States. However, Hindenburg Research dug into the certification in China and is telling us that what they found out is that it's maybe not quite as glamorous as Ehang initially led us to believe. The units are prohibited from operating in bad weather. They are limited to operating in daytime only. They have to operate in segregated airspace. They can't fly where other aircraft are flying. They can only operate in rural areas. So how can you do urban taxi transportation if you haven't been certified yet to operate in an urban environment? and they must fly within the line of sight of the remote crew. So this kind of takes down a peg what our expectations were a couple weeks ago. I do want to note that Ehang has filed a formal response to this Hindenburg Research short report, and I will put a link to this news release in the video description. Also, Ehang says that they firmly deny the allegations in the short seller report that the company misled investors about its pipeline of orders and sales, and that they will take appropriate actions to protect the company's and shareholders' interests. We do know that Hindenburg Research is short on Ehang. However, I do recommend that you guys don't just take these reports and discard them as fake news. Read through it, do your own research, do your own due diligence. Let me know what you think down below. I am Tony DeNaro, and I will see ya on the next video.